Urodynamics is a procedure that tests the function of your bladder. We never really know what your bladder is doing until we perform this test. But a lot of people get scared and frightened by it. So we've made this video so you can see how easy and straightforward urodynamics really is. Once the spinal urology nurse has organised your urodynamics appointment, you'll need to have your urine tested. It's important that any bugs get treated prior to the urodynamics. If you're in hospital, the doctor will organise this. If you're at home, you need to visit your GP 10 days before your appointment. This allows time for your urine to be tested and treated if any bugs are there. It's also good to have an idea of your fluid balance. It helps us if you could come knowing when you leak or how often you do your catheters or the amounts of your catheters. This will help the urologist determine where the problems are. Also, if you could bring any equipment that you use that you may need after the urodynamics. There's also no need to fast, so have breakfast and all your usual medications prior to your appointment. Urodynamics is performed at Austin Hospital on the Heidelberg campus. Come up to Level 2 Surgical and Endoscopy Centre just before your appointment time. The reception staff will check you in for the procedure. The nurse assisting with the procedure will come and collect you from the outpatients and take you through to the urodynamics room. This is the urodynamics room. It looks scarier than it is. There's no anaesthetist because you'll be awake for the whole test. That's because it can be pretty easy. Over here is the table you'll need to get on. And the problem is it's a bit narrow and doesn't always go down as low as we'd like. But if you can't transfer, we've got this hoist that we can help to assist you to get onto the table. Once you are settled on the table, the urologist will chat to you about any issues you've been having with leaking or not being able to void properly. The nurse will then help you to put your gown on and remove any of the lower clothing. You can leave your top clothing on. Any appliances such as condom drainage, they will also help you to remove. The urologist will clean your genitals and make sure everything is sterile prior to beginning the procedure. First, the urologist will empty your bladder with an intermittent catheter. Then, insert this fine catheter. This fills the bladder with fluid and also has a sensor to measure the pressures inside your bladder. It's so fine that you're able to pee around it. After this, the soft rectal tube will be placed into your rectum. This helps to measure abdominal pressure. That's the worst of it over. Both of these tubes are then connected to the urodynamics machine. Now the test begins. The urologist will fill your bladder with fluid that is a combination of saline and urographin. Urographin is a contrast that can be seen under x-ray. This helps the urologist see the outline of your bladder, how you pass urine, and if any urine is getting stuck and going back up into your kidneys. During the test, the urologist will ask you to tell them if your bladder ever feels full. Also, make sure you mention if you're feeling uncomfortable or if you have any signs of autonomic dysreflexia. Once the urologist has seen what they need to, the liquid stopped and the tubes are removed. If there's any urine left over, an intermittent catheter will be performed again to drain the bladder. This is the best way to find out how much residual urine is left over. The urologist will then have a brief discussion with you about their findings. They'll also talk to your spinal consultant over the next week. Once you return home or back to the ward, it's important to monitor for signs of infection. These are temperature or leaking. If these symptoms happen and you're worried, you need to contact your GP or call the spinal urology nurse. We hope this brief visit to the surgical and endoscopy centre has reassured you that the urodynamics test is a simple and easy test. Thank you.